Hey guys, I have just a quick update video today, or announcement video I suppose, depends if you're aware of this or not yet. But Scrome, the French scope manufacturer, is making a limited production run of J8 scopes. That is the scope that was adopted by the French army in 1985 for use on the FRF2 snipers. It replaced the APX 3.8 power scope that was literally from the 1950s. That's an APX on there right now because I don't have a J8, because you basically can't get J8s. Uh, interestingly, when they were, well until fairly recently, uh, the French army version had this really cool complex range-finding reticle in it. The tiny number of commercial J8 scopes that were made and sold it actually had to have just a simple crosshair per French law. It's a stupid law. The law has actually changed now and allows the sale of that original style military reticle on the civilian market. Now, up to today, basically the only way to get a proper J8 for an FRF2 was to have one that fell off a truck somehow and was liberated from the French army. They're basically all contraband. Uh, I don't know that anyone's out there trying to confiscate them, but there was no legitimate source for the things. So if you're a collector in the United States, much less, well in France, much less in the United States, it's basically impossible to get a J8 for your FRF2. Now this really wasn't an issue until just fairly recently when a bunch of FRF2s were surplused and actually sold on the commercial market by the French government. Now there's a fair number of them in the United States and in France in civilian hands, like that one. That has led to a significant rise in the commercial demand for J8s, and of course there's nothing to fill that demand. So Scrome, the company, still makes optics, they still make scopes, they still make the J8 uh, for some various military contracts, I think mostly outside of France. But they have all the tooling, the scope never really went out of production, it's just always been a very small batch made to order sort of system. They never had a stock and they never really tried to sell them commercially. They have seen how many FRF2s are out there now, which isn't a ton, but it's like a lot by their standards. And so they're actually going to be producing a run of commercial sale J8s that are exactly like the French military version. Primarily that means having that same reticle. They also come in the same carry case that the army ones did. They have all the same accessories. They have the screwdriver, the instruction manual, the, um, the uh, sun caps or uh, sun shields. So the thing is, they haven't really been able to figure out how many to make, because the market for this thing is really pretty much limited to people who have surplus FRF2s, and no one seems to be quite sure exactly how many rifles got surplused, or of course how many of their new owners are actually interested in ponying up the, wait for this, 2800 to 3000 euros for that, that, that J8 scope. Now I will say, yeah, that's like horrifically expensive for a fixed 8 power scope from 1985, but I will point out that a couple of the APX scopes like that one that are appropriate to the FRF2s, because it's not the standard APX, it's a special version updated for 7.62 NATO, a couple of those have shown up on Gunbroker in the last few months and sold for $2,500 to $3,200, so actually pretty close to the same price. So. Um, I had the opportunity to go visit Scrome uh, a couple months ago, they told me that they were planning on doing this, and now they're actually getting pretty darn close to it, and they're at the point now where they would like to actually get a list of pre-order customers. So they are requesting uh, basically name and location from people who are interested in getting one of the scopes. I think what they're going to end up doing at this point is selling them directly from Scrome instead of trying to find a distributor or a retailer. So. That 2,800 to 3,000 euro does include shipping, it does include customs in the US, if you're in the US, um, and I'm pretty sure it would include VAT if you're in France, but anyway, I digress. Um, if you have an FRF2 and you're interested in a J8, or frankly actually if you're just interested in a J8 for any reason, um, it would be a really good time to email Scrome and tell them. I have their email address, uh, it's actually it's lte at scrome.fr, I have that as well as a link to their blog post uh, describing all of this in the description text below. The plan sounds like they're going to take pre-orders for the next couple of weeks, they're then going to be making the scopes in September and October in batches of probably 50. And again, the whole point of this is they're not really sure how many, uh, how many people are actually interested in one. So 
If you are interested and you would like to make sure that you do actually get one, this would be a really good time to email Scrome and put your name on the list. Uh, again, it sounds like they're going to be requesting a 50% down payment probably in a couple of weeks, it sounds like. It's not a part of the initial email process, like they'll follow up with you to get a deposit. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but um, that's what's going on. I can tell you, uh, well, I, for clarification's sake, I'm not paid by Scrome, I'm not a Scrome employee, um, but they know me now because I weaseled my way into their factory to film some of their cool stuff, and because I've been pestering about them about this because I desperately want one of these J8s for my FRF2. So um, anyway, that's, that's why this is coming from me. They asked me to uh, relay the word because they've never really had much of a social media presence because they've never really sold stuff directly to civilians. So that's what's up. If you're interested, check out the link, send them an email, get a J8, it'll be great. Thanks.